Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant ember and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Delaney and in today's video it's going to be part three of my 2024 fall decorating series and we're going to be decorating my coffee bar so I'm so excited to share with you how I decorated this and how it all turns out um, if you are new to my channel hi my name is Delaney and I love making videos with decorating for all seasons and most holidays and fall is my favorite for sure and i also do weekly home resets every sunday to give you some cleaning motivation and homemaking motivation to get your home ready for a new week and then i just love sharing all things home on my channel because i truly truly believe that the home is where the heart is so if that sounds like something that you're interested in i would love to have you stick around and subscribe and join my YouTube family. I was a little child Every year for as long as I remember All the leaves were running wild Going all the way until November So of course if we're going to be decorating the coffee bar We're going to make some coffee And this is my nut pods pumpkin spice creamer i love this brand um, it's an almond and coconut creamer and it has super low sugar and you saw me earlier pump in some pumpkin spice syrup that's the pumpkin spice from the jordan's skinny syrups brand again low sugar so i really like it so that you know i can treat myself to starbucks every so often and get a real pumpkin spice latte and treat myself but we're going to sip on this coffee and here is a quick overview of everything I will be decorating my coffee bar with today. Um, everything is either from the last couple of years, um, a couple of things I did get this year and I shared in my fall decor haul. I'll have that linked down below for you. Those white pumpkin mugs are new, new. Um, they were not in my haul and they're from the hide and eek line at Target and they're $5 each. So thought it was a steal. I have these floating shelves above my coffee bar. This top one is where I keep all my coffee syrups and I'm just adding in a little pumpkin spice everything sign from Hobby Lobby, a little mason jar mug and some baby's breath all from Hobby Lobby as well. And then below here, I'm adding in this pumpkin spice latte recipe sign, a little pitcher with some eucalyptus, a Sherpa pumpkin, and one of my light up pumpkin spice lattes. And all of this is from Hobby Lobby as well. I 
wanted this other small shelf to coordinate with the one diagonally below it, so I'm adding in another picture with uh, some eucalyptus, another Sherpa pumpkin, and another one of my light up pumpkin spice lattes in the green color. And again, this is all from Hobby Lobby, so definitely check out your local Hobby Lobby for all of these great finds. And below this shelf, I'm adding in one of my Ray Dunn mugs. It says pumpkin everything, and it has a pumpkin topper, and I love it so much. A little happy pumpkin season sign. Um, this was from a local decor shop near me. I get most of my Ray Dunn items from like TJ Maxx Home Goods. I don't use that many, but I do love the pieces that I do use. And then again, with this like symmetrical look, I have another one of these amber vases with baby's breath. And then under here, I have a little pot rack that I love decorating. Um, so I have a matching pumpkin everything hand towel from Ray Dunn. So I'm going to style that here. Um, I have this little beaded garland from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to style that right next to it. And then I'm going to be adding in those two white pumpkin mugs that I mentioned from the Hide and Eek collection at Target. They were only $5 each, so I thought these would be perfect here. I love showcasing my fall mugs, and trust me, I do have more than this. <laughs> And then I have this little mini, mini board that is also from Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to hang that here on the other hook. And then here on my tear tray, I love this tear tray so much. It's from the Creative Co-op line on Amazon. I'll have it linked um, in my LTK and you can find that linked down below in my description box. But I'm adding in this orange mug from Hobby Lobby with some more eucalyptus. And behind here in the back, I have this old Bath & Body Works candle that's espresso flavored. I don't light it. I just kind of keep it there and it makes the area smell nice. Plus it's a nice tear tray filler. Um, and then I have a couple of these little risers. Also from Hobby Lobby, I have an orange and white one, and then I have these little pumpkin espresso mugs, and you probably guessed it, it's also from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm bringing in a couple of these little pumpkin jars, love these so much, and then I have a pumpkin spice coffee bar sign to of course add to this part of my tear tray. And then I'm going to be adding in another one of those little mason jar mugs that I have um, above in my upper shelves, but in a green color. And we're going to be putting in some of those gorgeous little pumpkin spoons from Hobby Lobby as well. And here on the top part of my tear tray, I'm adding in another one of my little uh, tear tray stands, this little pumpkin creamer pitcher. Again, this is all from Hobby Lobby. I feel like their little kitchen decor selection is amazing. And every year it just keeps getting better and better. I'm adding in some more of this eucalyptus. Again, going for that like symmetrical look. Um, looking at it in like diagonals. I have this cute little barista gnome. I believe this is also from Hobby Lobby. Um, this is the one, one of the things I'm not quite sure. 
where I got it, you know, in the last couple of years. I'm going to be adding in another one of these little pumpkin jars and of course a little pumpkin espresso mug and then another mason jar mug with the white pumpkin spoons. Dancing through the last days of September And one last finishing touch, I'm going to be adding one more little pumpkin espresso mug, well at least an orange color espresso mug here to our Keurig drip tray. And here is how my pumpkin spice coffee bar turned out for fall. I am in love with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Some are slow and some are high and some are low. Thank you all so much for watching my part three of my fall decorating series with my fall coffee bar. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am in love with this space. It is truly one of my favorite spots to decorate and fall is also my favorite season. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for part four of my fall decorating series and I hope to see you so very soon. Happy fall. Bye.